hi viewers welcome to my channel once again today we have this very particular problem on the board again but before we dive into the word solution of these problems i think it's very important for us to look at the meaning of echo and i think this reminds me there was a day i visited a friend a friend in the world studio and i come to realize that the wall the floor and even the ceiling are all padded even though the paint they use in painting the wall is still looking pleasant but they decide to cover it why i think the answer is very simple is all because of what echo they want to reduce the reverberation of their sound and Another way of reducing a reverberation of a sound in a room is to word, part the walls, or part the slim and the word the flow, so that you shouldn't be hearing your voice for the second time, as if somebody is asking you, what is echo? We can now say that echo simply means a reflection of what sound. As simple as that, echo means reflection of what sound. When a sound reflects, it gives rise to word a and word echo. Okay, now that we know the meaning of echo, does this echo has any use to human being? Is there any place we can use this echo? Yes, that is true. There must be a place where we can use this echo. And that takes us toward the next point called the application of echo. The application of echo number one is to determine the speed of sound in air. And number two is to determine the depth of a sea bed. Number three, to locate the position of shoal of what? fish number four exploration for gas all the aforementioned are application of what echo but i would like to concentrate on what application number one the application number one is talking about to determine the speed of sound in air and that is related to the question we are having on the board here so let's assume we have a, there is a man there is a man standing, this is a man standing, and this man make a sound. This is a cliff. This man make a sound either by clapping his hand or by calling a name. The sound is going to travel from where the man is standing to the cliff. This is the direction of the sound. It is going to cover a distance x. When it strikes the cliff, it tends to what? reflect back to where the man is standing. This is the direction of what? The reflection of the sound. It was still going to cover a distance, what? X. Now, no matter how small the time it is, before this man will hear his sound again, it may thus cover the time. It, the time taken, may have, we may have had a time T that has passed, okay? So the speed, we define speed as distance over time. So we can now say the speed, the speed which is always represented by V is now distance over time. The distance it goes, the distance it comes back before the man uh, tends to uh, hear the voice for the second time. So it will be X plus X all over what T. So we have V will now be equal to 1x plus 1x will definitely going to give us what? 2x all over t. So this is the relationship between the speed, the distance, and the time. If you have the speed and you have the time, you can calculate the distance the voice have actually covered or the distance taken before the man had the word, the voice. And if you have the distance, you have the time, you'll be able to calculate the word, the speed. So this is the relationship between speed, uh, distance, and time. So let us move into our question. You place solution. The first thing, you put solution. Then you go through the question. All right? 
we go through the question they said how far that means they are asking of what the distance we can now say distance which is represented by x is equal to question mark because they are asking how far how far that is the distance okay from a cliff should a, ma a boy stand in order to what hear the echo of his clap two seconds that means time which is t is equal to two what uh second okay the time taken is two seconds then you see the speed of sound in air is this so the speed of sound in air is three three zero meter per second that is the speed in air okay so if that is uh, the data we obtain from this number one I am calculating number one all right so we have to fall back to the relationship and the relationship is what uh, V is is equal to V is equal to 2 X all over what T okay so if that is true our speed is given as 330 and our time is two seconds we can now substitute it three three zero and is equal to two x we are looking for x all over what two okay so as simple from here don't need you don't need to stress yourself as far as you're having two here there is two here two will just cancel two and finally your x is equal to three three zero meter this is the distance it cover before the man or the boy tends to what hear his voice for the second time okay so this is the first example it's time for us to look at what the second example and let's see how we can solve this second example it's still very very simple it's not difficult the most important thing is to go through the word go through the question and understand the question very well number two now we want to solve the number two okay the number two is saying that as a ship approaches a cliff its serene is sounded and the echo is heard in ship after 12 seconds so we can say the time t is equal to 12 seconds okay time t is equal to what 12 seconds full stop they said 2.1 minute later the siren is sounded again and the echo is heard eight second second later again so we have another time here let this one be two one and this can be what t2 so it's eight second that is after 2.1 minute later after 2.1 minute later that is another time okay another time t is equals to what 2.1 minute okay this is another time but this very time is not that one of echo because if you go through the question they said uh, as the ship approach a cliff, its siren is sounded and the echo is heard. So this time is for echo. The echo is heard after 12 seconds. 2.1 minute later, the siren is sounded. So this 2.1 minute later is not the time for siren. It's not the time for that echo. Okay? It's not that one of echo. So you put it aside, difference, okay? So let's continue. And they said the echo is heard eight seconds later. So after this time, the echo is heard. This is a time of echo, which is what? Eight seconds, okay? So full stop. If the speed of the sound in air is this, so we can set our V is equal to three, four, zero meter per second. That is the speed of sound. Calculate the velocity at which the ship is approaching. So what we need is what? The distance. What we need is what? The distance. And the speed that 
uh, the the sheep or the sh the speed that the sheep covered in these 12 seconds is the same with the speed that the sheep cover in what eight seconds so the speed is what the scene so there are many ways to approach this very question the first method is you use the relationship there and calculate the distance in one that is in 12 seconds you can also calculate the distance in eight seconds then you find the difference and find and get your award the distance okay or you use what we call what a modify formula we can we we, we can modify this formula and use this straight and that we're going to come up in the next video in my next video i'm going to what uh, use a modified formula and solve uh, maybe two three example especially in jam for those of you that are what taking jam because most of the questions there you must use the modify formula in solving it so in this very particular problem let us use the word the formula that we deduce earlier to solve for the word the x1 and then x2 we can now find the difference then calculate our velocity okay so we know that the v is equal to what x2 x1 now all over what t1 that is for t1 here okay then we can now substitute that if the speed is 340 which will be equal to 2x1 all over what the time t is what 12 okay the time t is 12 so what we'll do is this is over 1, we cross multiply so that we have 2x1 will be equal to 12 times 3, 4, 0. We divide through by 2, by 2, then 2 will cancel 2, then our x1 will going to give us what? Uh, 2 here, 1, 2 going to 12 is what? 6, okay? So we now say 6 times this, 6 times what? Uh, 4 is 24, so we write our 4, then 6 times uh, 3 is 18, plus uh, uh, 2 is what, uh, 20, so we have, we have 2040 zero, zero meter for x1. So this is our x1, so we'll go for what, x2. So in x2, we still have what, we use the same formula, v is equal to 2x2 now, all over t2 so our v remain the same so we have uh, 4 3 4 0 then is equal to 2 x 2 all over what the time now is what 8 okay so if the time is 8 we'll still do the same thing we cross multiply we have 2 x okay we're going to have 2 x 2 uh, equal to what equal to what uh, <clears throat> three four zero times what eight so we divide through by two so we have two x two all over two equal to one uh three four zero then times eight over two two here one two into eight is four here we cancel then we have x two we're going to give us what our x two we're going to give us uh uh, uh, 4 times this we have 16 bring down at 0 4 times 3 we have 12 plus 1 we have 13 so we have 1 3 6 0 meter for x2 so for us to get the distance the distance at which it cover before uh, hearing the word 2.1 minute later we want to know that distance the diff you find the difference between uh, uh, the distance. So we have x2 minus x1, then uh, we'll get it. So x2 is 1360 minus uh, x1. x1 is what? 3, uh, x1, x1 is 2, 
0.4020040. If you subtract it, you're going to have a, a 680 meter. Okay? You're going to have 680 meter. And if that is true, we can clean this side and continue there. So we will not we will not use that very particular distance and calculate our 